begin. The distance from Nicaragua to the United States is 1700 miles and that's where Russia will be stationing its troops very soon. Associated Press on June 10th reported Nicaragua has authorized entry of Russian ships, vessels and planes into its territories. Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega said that Russian troops would be allowed to carry out law enforcement duties, humanitarian aid, rescue and search missions in emergencies or natural disasters. Although Russia and Nicaragua are old-time allies and have been sharing cordial ties since the 1979 revolution when dictator Anastasio Somoza was ousted, this particular development is indeed eyebrow-raising for Washington, D.C. Of course, Russian military assets would be the last thing the U.S. would ever fancy to see prowling in the Americas. But it's clear that Russia is making the most out of the rising anti-US sentiments in the region of the world too. For instance, Nicaragua recently lashed out at the Biden administration for not inviting it to the Summit of Americas. This was an important gathering of American states that would have helped the region coordinate on foreign policy matters of great importance. President Ortega, while voicing his support for Russia, said, they want to subdue Russia. They want to subjugate China. They're thinking the time that has come for them to take over the entire planet. And they didn't realize that's not possible anymore.